What's up everybody, back again with another reaction and today we got a special Sony State of Play talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I cannot wait for this game, so I will have a PS5 by the 29th when this comes out. So yeah, look forward to seeing me doing Let's Plays of that. And with that being said, let's get it. What happened to this place? It was Sephiroth. He wants to finish what he started, and rule over the planet. We have to help them! You coming? Way ahead of ya! Let's get to work. I will reclaim our world. Hello,こんにちは。Square ファイナルファンタジー <笑> I'm guessing the big announcement is the demo, the rumored demo is coming out. Cloud, bring me the black materia. The beginning of the end. The celebration of the faithful. <laughs> A watershed moment for all mankind. Temple of the Ancients. Hey kids, sorry we're late. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm going to pay. There we go. To be the first lucky lady. I swear hey, I always thought that was Mark Hamill, but it's not. <laughs> At long last, the knave returns. Who the hell are you? I refuse to be upstaged a second time. Oh, he's back. Oh, shit. Good. Fill your hollow heart with rage. I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. We ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Who the hell is that? Passing through? You! Tifa! Whew! Hey, guys! They're getting some sun, too, huh? Yeah. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? That hair's looking like Nico. You should get yourself a reading! It's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. I won't say that it was I won't say that Whoa! Hold this thing over right now. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Oh, that's cool. Ask for up to add more stuff. Understand, you'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saru. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Sephiroth, hey! 
No, not you. Here, take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. When spite and sorrow are harvested to feed the planet. No! Holy shit. Minasan, konnichiwa. ファイナルファンタジーセブンリバースディレクターの浜口直樹ですトレーラーはいかがでしたでしょうかここからは本作がどのようなゲームなのか私から皆様にご紹介していきたいと思いますIn Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. The world is made up of multiple regions, all seamlessly interconnected. The grasslands. Located due south of Midgar, this is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. The Junon region. Where a metropolis by the same name the overlooks the you ocean, a symbol of Shinra's military might. The Karel region. The resort town of Costa del Sol adorns its northern shore, while the gold saucer stands That's as a awesome. gilded oasis above the dust bowl far to the south. The Gingaga region. Pay tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown. Or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. The Cosmo Canyon region. Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. The Nebel region. Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa. Or stop by Shinra Manor where Vincent rests in peace. Oh shit. Your adventure will even extend to the high seas. There's more to do than simply walk around, however. First, let's look at world intel. Assisting Chadley with his research will deepen his understanding of the world, allowing him to develop new materia. Oh, so this it's like Final Fantasy 15. Forms, such as wrangling chocobos or playing with the mooglets at their mog stools. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. Chadley will also enlist your help in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto-relics. Each investigation is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters, exciting new minigames, and ferocious creatures. Are you up for the challenge? And once you recover all the proto relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. What the hell is that? Next, let's talk about odd jobs. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, Cloud will accept work from people he meets in his travels and team up <laughs> with his pals to solve their troubles. By helping those in need, he will also strengthen the bonds between him and his comrades. Oh my god. <laughs> Each one of these odd jobs boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, 
borrow aspects from the original FF7, while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. And don't worry if you leave some for later. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. You can always go back to tie up loose what? ends. And this freedom to experience I the story swear to God, this is going to be is one of the greatest game I've strengths. ever played in my entire life. While some mini-games are tied to world intel and odd jobs, many are not. For example, popular ones from the Gold Saucer, such as 3D Brawler, G-Bike, and Chocobo Racing are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. The hell? Rocket League Final Fantasy? Upon their remake versions, while still more are completely new to Rebirth. That's what's up! We've even fleshed out some of the mini-games that were featured as part of the original Final Fantasy VII's main scenario. Oh, God. Though this one is not in the original, I highly suggest you check out the card game, Queen's Blood. No matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by Etcetera, and I'm the last. While mini-games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience, with even higher quality content, and more of it, than Remake. This installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar, up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey. One that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Basically, it's gonna end. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Where the painful scene is supposed to happen. As for the graphics, which is smart, then it makes Rebirth you want makes third full party. use of the PlayStation right 5 that. and its SSD, meaning we could use much higher resolution assets than we could in Remake, and they will still load in the blink of an eye. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. Sorry. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. Whichever you prefer. Rebirth has you covered. Each character interacts with the world in their own way. Barrett shoots objects. Yuffie swings across gaps. Tifa has her grappling gun. Red can climb along walls. Oh, you get to play Kate it. Sith grabs and throws items. Oh, that is so cool, dude. And Aerith manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome yeah, them. like some Devil May Cry, like the, one of the special levels or whatever. Now for the music. We wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks but also challenge ourselves by matching the feeling of each scene, which resulted in some truly innovative arrangements. Like, for example, the following. Of course, the classic. How is that? If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks for this game. God so there's plenty more where that came from. That's a lot. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story, but through gameplay as well. The choices you make throughout your adventure will change the way your comrades feel towards Cloud. Yeah. At least I made that promise to you. These feelings affect who will join you on a date in the Gold Saucer. Something I'm sure many of you are excited about. 
In fact, even allies who weren't available in the original FF7 can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. The saucer is packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. Already have someone who you'd like to go with? Uh, Cloud? Well, we hope they feel the same way too. <laughs> Your companions will share a bond not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. I'm going to accompany you. The higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. By unlocking the skills etched in these tomes, your characters will grow stronger and learn new synergy commands. Part of what makes Rebirth's combat so fun is all the different character combinations. Switch up your team to fit the situation, or stop playing or even game. game. Every possible party combination like has its own unique synergy commands. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. And don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. With new characters and synergy commands at your disposal, Remake's satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. We can't wait for you to experience all this and more in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation 5. この体験版では物語の重要なポイントとなるニブルヘイム事件が収録されており クラウドやセフィロスを操作することができます。さらに今回の体験版では発売までの間にアップデートが入り、ジュノンエリアの一部を探索できる追加デモが開放されます。本作の特徴であるoh yeah th this is like i said it, it is going to be the greatest one of the greatest games i've ever played in my entire life 
with all the additions, like just the graphics, the, the story, and the fact that it goes all the way up to, what did they say, the, the City of the Ancients, I think it was, you know, which I'm sure, like I said, it's probably going to end with that, on that cliffhanger of, you know, what's going to happen with, with Earth, you know, so because there's this big debate, you know, going on now of whether she is going to die, you know, if they're going to change it and she's not going to die, like, you know, but we'll see, but I, man, oh man, like I said, I will be getting a PS5 for this, so, I cannot wait, so anyways, if you enjoyed this video, remember, like, comment, and subscribe, thanks.